what's happening guys so I'm super excited um, oh hey they are overexposed I'm super excited so Monica a little surprise for Monica she doesn't know but I'm super excited I I wanted to pick up some type of entertainment for the studio and uh, I'm trying to think what's the best bet what's like the most fun in general you can have without regardless on any age anything and um, so I picked up um, some some new entertainment pretty excited about it and we went with I have to get a TV better TV stand don't mind that but nice 50 inch but I did Monica's uh, wanted a switch for a while so I'm super pumped I got a got the family a switch I'm excited to see if they like it hopefully they will I think it will I, I was playing it for a little bit and it's like the perfect thing for Lena's age. I know Monica loves it. And uh, so yeah, ironically, um, they were, Lena's asleep and Monica was super busy and she didn't even see me bring in a TV to the house. So, I'm so excited. I'm um, gonna set up the camera, get the reaction. Hopefully it's good. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just excited. Everyone likes new stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, got some entertainment. I do wanna pick up a better TV stand. I have this TV stand in mind. It's pretty dope, it looks good, it smells good, it feels good, it's always good. So, um, update, hey now, we got some really cool stuff here now. Not too crazy about this, this looked a lot better online, but um, went with some cool cherry blossom tree, cool fish tank from a man's with a freaking dragon in there. Just, and then I got some new trays, hand sanitizer container. So we are freaking ready to go. Tomorrow's the first one, which will probably be in the same video. So super excited. I'm going to have like family game night, which is so exciting. I can't wait. I'm extremely, extremely, um, I don't know. Hopefully I like it. If not, get an Xbox or something. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What is going on guys? So I'm just setting up now. I just wrapped my machine. That's pretty cool. I got um, just, uh, just wrap it with some grip tape and made my grip a little thicker. So I went on keep down with get down. We're good to go. And uh, yeah, just getting prepared. I'm going to start to prep everything else. And yeah, here we go. I usually wrap my, um, kind of like my workstation with temp oil. Um, one, it makes for an easy, easy cleanup because once you're done, you pretty much just crumple all the old ink and just throw it into a ball. And then it encapsulates the, like, uh, the mess and you just throw it right out. So, kind of just want to give you a little tips where I, where I, what's out, what's out, what's out, fine.
temporary space when I was doing my tattoo. I tried to switch over to my new, my other camera, but honestly, I was just trying to focus. And I, we had a time limit, and um, I think it came out pretty good. There's some things I do want to adjust. Luckily, we're just rescheduling to finish it up the piece because he had to run by, I think, like one, one fifteen, and we were done at one twenty-five. So. We were running behind. I just want to clean up some spots. I just really just didn't have the time limit to really, really kind of give it to get it to where I want it to be at. But I think it was a good first tattoo since I don't know, like five years almost. This new little side table came in. It's so satisfying. Like my f remote matches. Earth, dang, what? I'd have to get a TV stand too. So, so it's Sunday now, and I got a, a pretty much a day to sit with the tattoo and kind of like break it down, make sure, and see where I want to make adjustments. Um, one of the things that was was tough is I spent about two hours on the handles, and I think we only had. Um, the t time just crept and then all of a sudden it was he was like oh I got 30 minutes and then I didn't get a chance to work the blades as I wanted to so he's gonna come back in a couple weeks to pretty much finish up the blades I just set the pretty much um, the foundation for the shading of the blades I do want to rework it we're gonna do a whole piece pretty much a half sleeve all the way around which I'm excited about so uh, kind of an unfinished tattoo. I do want to um, rework some aspects of it. I'm thinking I'm going to run a, a double pass on the outline. Yeah, I'm thicken up that outline just a little bit more. It's tough because there's two styles. Because um, real like realism doesn't have don't have outlines. But if you're doing figure out, do I want to go bold comic style or realism with. Uh, we usually has like a thinner line, so I'm going to kind of sit with the idea. Luckily, Tyrone, the guy that I was tattooing, is my cousin, and he can come back anytime. So like right now, I'm pretty much um, setting up my foundation again, where I'm just mainly tattooing my cousins and my are pretty much my family and my really really close friends, just until I get my bearings back, because you know it takes it takes um, it's going to take practice to get to where I want to be. I'll get there. I'm gonna. I, all I do is all I have been doing is research about like different techniques. And I think if I was my younger self, I would have been hype off of a tattoo, pumped. But it's a different world. There's so much. I've seen so much great work, and I know what I can get to. So um, I'm proud of the piece of being my first one back. I think uh, I think it was a, a half de a good decent job. Um, but there's definitely things I want to adjust and then also um, it's a different this is just like me breaking down using this machine um, I, I had troubles locating the needle on and uh, setting depth uh, the depth of the needle so um, it's a different setup I'm not used to it but it's something I learned and luckily I have such a great support system that it allows me to do that so I'll get there it's pretty much just my journey and I'm excited to be back because again, this is like, this tattooing was my first passion as like when I was 14 and then years went by, I started, it went right around when I was 16, 17 and I did it for about I think five to six years, if I'm not mistaken, five to six, yeah, five to six years and then, um, then we had to move in with Monica's father when Lena was born until we found this house that we're in now and that was a two year period where I, I pretty much couldn't tattoo. I was not, you know, I had nowhere to tattoo out of, and um, it was it was a tough go. But I'm happy to be back, and it's not a tough go for life. It was a good life. Like I wasn't complaining. It was actually when I started the channel, <laughs> so um, it was just uh, a, a, a tough situation for pursuing that. So yeah, uh, but we're back. I'm excited. I have, I'm not really taking any appointments right now. Like I'm just kind of um, in the process of just getting my bearings back. I want to set my foundations and do pieces that um, really work on line work, really work on different techniques of shading. Uh, I have my step pops coming in in a couple weeks. And then I'm thinking about just uh, doing a piece of my leg because I tattooed my whole left leg. I'm thinking about doing my whole right leg, but I don't know what I, I don't know what I want.
want. <laughs> so I have to come up with an idea of like what I would want, which is really hard because I'm not really, like uh, I'm not super, like I love cars, I love clothing, and I love that, but I don't love it to, like for life. Like it's not like my life. So my life is always, like most of my tattoos are um, about like my beliefs, right? Like um, Christianity and then or uh, my family or stories. So it's usually always has storylines. So I have like one tattoo that means absolutely nothing. I have the Converse logo on my heel. Or not my heel, like my... Yeah. It's right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's... Um, <laughs> but besides that, like all my tattoos mean a lot to me. So I don't ever just kind of jump in and do whatever I want. I usually like, I only get tattooed when I have an idea. That's about it. So, yeah, all right guys, happy freaking Sunday. I think I'm gonna upload this tonight, if not the Monday. I love you guys, holla at your boys. And uh, yeah, and <laughs> it's weird, I'm not, I'm never insecure about pretty much anything, but when it comes to tattooing, I don't know what happens to me. Like, I become a little kid again, and I get like all crazy. I'm like, is it good? You know, I sell, it's like, I only have self-doubt towards tattooing for some reason. And um, it's something that I want to get past and push through because it's hindered me. It's not allowed me to like stop worrying about it and start learning. Just worry about learning. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's good. Holla, I love you guys. Holla, boy. Ow. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs>